welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through using your segments that you create in Customer Insights in Dynamics Marketing, or you could also do this with Dynamics Sales. So here I am in Dynamics Marketing, and you can see that I have no segments uh, that I have available to me in Marketing. So what I'm going to do is over in Customer Insights, I do have a couple of segments. So you can see I have a segment of my high value customers as well as a segment uh, that I've created for summer promotion. Uh, the summer promotion one basically is to target millennials who spend a certain amount of money with us. So what I'm going to do is head down here to the export section. I'm going to click create export and it's going to tell me that there are no connections. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a connection. In order to do this, you do have to be an administrator. And I'm going to choose marketing. I'll give it a name, D365 marketing. And I'm going to say that any administrator or contributor can use this connection. So now there's two pieces to an export. There's the connection, uh, which is the connection between customer insights and the destination. And then there's the export setup. Um, because I didn't have a connection set up yet, I'm going to be creating one here as part of this step. This could be done separately by an administrator. Um, I do need to give it my org, so I'm going to pop back over and grab my org name. There we go. I'll have to sign in. And I will pick my account that will access that Dynamics instance. It has to be an administration administrator account. Click Save. So that's the connection part. That can be done separately. Now we're doing the export part. Um, so in the export part, you pick your connection, give it a name, and you have to tell it which field in your Customer Insights data is the ID that is used inside Dynamics. So here I have um, a Dynamics 365 data set that I brought in from Dynamics into Customer Insights join that into my customer profile and this contact ID is the GUID that Dynamics has. Um, we need that connection when we export for Dynamics to be able to go through the list and find the people that it knows about. I'm going to pick both of them. Uh, I could just pick the one that I want uh, and, and go from there but I'm going to pick both in this case and now that has set up the export. I mentioned the connection if I go over to connections and click on exports, you'll see that here's the connection that was created by the um, by me as part of that setup. You could create one here individually uh, if you're an admin and you want somebody else to set up the export. Let's go back to exports and I'm going to click run all. And what that's going to do is actually go out, process, grab the segment that we created and push that over into Dynamics for us to use. So we'll give that a minute. And when that's done, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. As you can see, that just took a couple of minutes down here. It's four minutes, it's cut off there, but, um, or refresh three minutes ago, I guess, really. So you notice it completed with warnings. It's just because I have a rather small data set. Um, so I only have about a thousand, a couple, about 2,000 customers in my profiles. And the ones that actually exist in, in Dynamics are very few. So you can see here only two in uh, the high value customer and in summer pro promo only three of the customers that I have in my customer profiles match somebody in Dynamics 365. So so uh, that's all that is um, but it did export and if we pop over to Dynamics and we do a quick refresh you can see that we have the two segments now here from Customer Insights. They're static. They'll only update when Customer Insights updates them. And they come across in drafts. So in order to use them, I'll have to make them live. So I'm going to go into the high value customers. And that's going to show me my couple of customers here. And I'm going to click go live. Let that publish. And that will now be live. So now if I go back and go back to my segments, We'll see that it's now live. So as a marketer, I can use this segment now in different ways. The easiest way is in a customer journey. Uh, I happen to have an email called High Value Weekly Newsletter that I want to send to my weekly or to my uh, VIP high value customers. So I'm going to go to Customer Journey, click on New. That is going to ask me for I'm going to say monthly, 
although I can change this to be weekly. I'm going to click on audience and now if I go over here and I search for my high value customer segment, there it is. I can click on that. I can choose my email. So again, I can look at my high value weekly newsletter and I can fill out all the information that's needed and go ahead and send this off. And then I can do all those things that you can do with customer journeys and marketing. So that's how you export from customer insights, your segments into marketing, or as I said at the beginning, you could also do this to sales if you were looking to do this with sales. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll tune in again next time. Thanks.